This is a short video by NHS Tayside's Children and Young People's Occupational Therapy Service. This video will talk a little bit more about one of the senses we call proprioception. It might be helpful, if you haven't already, to watch our previous video, which introduced all the eight sensory systems. The proprioceptive sense is the information we get from our joints and our muscles. This sense tells us what position our bodies are in and helps us to plan and adjust our movements. It's essential to help us learn new movements with our bodies. It also helps us judge how much force to use in our movements, whether we're drinking from a cup, throwing a ball or giving a cuddle. We all like to get strong proprioceptive inputs because they can feel really good, grounding us and calming us. Sometimes we talk about our proprioceptive system as our regulation friend, as it can help other sensory systems to feel better. Squeezing a stress ball can calm us down. Doing a heavy workout or going for a run reduces how frustrated we feel. Chewing on something helps us concentrate again. You get nice strong proprioceptive inputs when you move against resistance and make your muscles work harder. Without efficient proprioception, a child might look clumsy. They might be bumping into things, be fidgety, take longer to learn new tasks, or might get into trouble for spilling or breaking things. They might also love really tight cuddles and rough and tumble play. When we think about what we can do to help, it's best to think of the following titles. Awareness, preparation and being creative. If you're aware, you will understand why your child might look a little bit clumsy when they're doing things and that they are trying to be as careful as they can be. Prepare by making sure there are activities around the house and outside for getting heavy muscle work and you'll soon find yourself being creative with activities to increase the muscles and the joints that are involved. Providing proprioceptive input for your child really helps to set them up well for learning new things, being able to concentrate, staying calm, transitioning from doing one thing to another and even preparing them for sleep. Some people find it helpful to use weighted cushions or blankets to help them regulate. You can be creative by coming up with your own versions. Try adding a blanket tucked in tight over the top of a duvet or a heavy soft doorstop on your child's lap. It's great to provide crashing inputs like jumping on a trampoline or falling onto a pile of cushions. Get them to make their muscles work harder in lots of different ways. Carrying heavy things, pulling and pushing, even the pushing of a washing basket from one room to another, lifting or even washing the windows. Playgrounds and sports of course are great, but can you make your own obstacle course around the house? under tables and over sofas. All you need is some tape on the floor. Think about household chores. They involve using muscles and joints working hard too. If you have access to a garden, can they help? Try making it as fun as possible and get your child to join in and help. For more information and activity ideas, there are lots of brilliant Facebook pages and websites. Here are a few of our favourites. If you would like any more information from the Child Health Occupational Therapy Service, then please do not hesitate to get in touch with us.